Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to share with you a DIY project that I have been working on. A smart fingerprint sensor using Blink ESP32 and R3 for 8 fingerprint sensor. It's a simple and easy to use solution that allows you to add and authenticate fingerprints effortlessly. The best part of this project is that you don't need any prior programming knowledge to get started. One more time, I bold the main advantage of this project. You can easily add and authenticate fingerprints. How? Continue watching. Before we dive into the details, let me give you a quick overview of what we'll be building in this tutorial. We'll be using ESP32 as the brain of our project. The R308 fingerprint sensor will handle fingerprint recognition and we'll be using Blink platform to create a user-friendly interface on our smartphones. The first step is gathering all the necessary components. As I mentioned, we need ESP32 IoT development board, R308 fingerprint sensor, also some jumper wires, a red LED, a green LED, a buzzer, and a relay module is needed. I use the relay module to connect any device that I want to control with fingerprint to this project. In addition, a USB cable for programming and Arduino installed on an operating system for uploading the code I give you is needed. Let's get started. Let's start with configuring Blink. Navigate to blink.cloud webpage. You can find its link in description. Enter your Blink account credentials. If you don't have one, click create new account. Follow the steps to sign up. After entering your Blink account credentials, click login. Navigate to user profile from the left menu. Make sure developer mode is enabled. Then navigate to templates. Click add new template. Set a name for it. In hardware section from the drop down list, select ESP32. As I mentioned, my IoT development board is ESP32. I want to connect it to network using Wi Fi, so connection type I choose Wi Fi. Then click done. In this page, select data stream tab, click add new data stream, select virtual pin, set a name for it, choose a color for it. In pin section from the drop down list, assign virtual pin 0 to this data stream, data type select integer units is none minimum is zero maximum is one in advanced settings enable sync with latest server value every time device connects to the cloud then click create i need another data stream so click add new data stream select virtual pin set a name for it I change its color. I assign virtual pin 3 to this data stream and choose a string as its data type. In advanced settings, I enable sync with latest server value every time device connects to the cloud. Then click create. Navigate to Web Dashboard tab. From the widget box, drag switch and drop it here. You can resize it. Open its settings by clicking on this icon. Set a name for it. Select data stream. I choose relay which virtual pin 0 is assigned to it, on value is 1, off value is 0. I enable show on off label. In on label section, I add trick. 
off label off then click save from the widget box find terminal widget drag it drop it here you can easily resize it open its settings by clicking on this icon set a name for it assign data stream to it I assign or let's say choose log which virtual pin 3 is assigned to it enable add new line a screen color I choose black text color I choose white make sure show input is enabled auto scroll is enabled then click save let's add another widget find label drag it and drop it here resize it open its settings set a name for it choose data stream log which virtual pin 3 is assigned to it then click save setting web dashboard is done click save at the top right corner of the screen then navigate to search tab from the left menu in this page click add new device from template select from template choose the template from the drop down list set a name for your device then click create copy these lines we need them for configuring our ESP32 IoT dev board. then open Arduino IDE open the file we need to program our ESP32 you can find the file in description download it and open it with Arduino IDE replace these three lines the first three lines with the ones you copied from the blink console in this line enter the name of your Wi-Fi network or let's say SSID in the next line enter the password of your Wi-Fi network these are the only changes you have to make in the Arduino file connect your ESP32 to your operating system using USB cable in Arduino open tools tab choose the port your ESP32 is connected to it mine is COM4 from the tools tab navigate to board section and select the type of your ESP32 board mine is ESP32 dev module then click a sketch click upload wait till uploading your code to your ESP development board is done programming our ESP32 is done it's wiring time to make the video short I have done the wiring I will describe it to you and after that I will show its diagram I use GPIO4 as enrollment switch whenever I want to add new fingerprint to sensor I connect GPIO4 of development board to ground off development board then I connect the power to ESP32 connecting fingerprint sensor connect yellow wire to GPIO16 of development board connect green wire to GPIO 17 connect red wire and black wire to 5 volt pin 
of development board, 5 volt DC pin of development board and connect its blue wire to ground pin of development board. Connecting LEDs, connect red LED to GPIO 27 of development board and ground pin of development board. Connecting green LED, connect it between GPIO 26 and ground of development board. Connecting the buzzer, connect the red wire to GPIO 33 and connect black wire to ground. Connecting relay module, DC plus terminal must be connected to 5 volt DC pin of development board and DC minus must be connected to ground of development board. And input terminal must be connected to pin 32 of development board. It's time to configure Link IoT app. Download and install it on your smartphone. Open it after entering your Blink account credentials. You will see this page. At the top right corner of the screen, tap wrench icon to open the setting. Tap on fingerprint sensor. At the top right corner of the screen, tap plus, choose button widget. Tap on button widget. In data stream section, select relay. In settings, section choose switch as the mode then navigate to design set a title for it you can add labels to the bottom off label off on label tricked you can change the font size and also the color of the button One more time, tap on plus at the top right corner of the screen. This time from the widget box, find terminal. Select terminal widget, tap on it. Choose data stream log for it. Enable input line, enable add new line and make sure auto scroll is enabled. Let's see what we have in design section. You can set the title for it. A screen color is black and light text color is enabled. Close this page. Also, you can add the label widget. I choose labeled value. Resize it, tap on it to open its settings, tap on data stream, select lock. We can set a title for it in design section and that's it. It's time to show you how this project works. Let's start with enrolling or let's say adding fingerprints to the sensor. I disconnect the power, connect GPIO4 to ground pin of development board, then connect power. In Blink app in devices section, I tap on fingerprint sensor. We have fingerprint sensor enrollment mode, found fingerprint sensor, ready to enroll, please type in the ID from 1 to 127. You want to save this finger as. I type 1. Enrolling ID 1, waiting for valid finger to enroll as ID 1. I place my finger on the fingerprint. 
Image taken, image converted, remove finger, place same finger again, prints match stored. Let's add another finger. This time I type two, waiting for valid finger. I place my finger on the reader. The app says remove finger, place same finger again, start. You see the green LED indicates that the process is being done. It's verifying the indicator. The red LED means that there is an error. Let's show it to you. Also, the sound of buzzer differs from where the process is verified or there is an error. Enrollment is done. I disconnect the power, disconnect GPIO4 from the ground. When GPIO4 is not connected to ground, it's in use mode. As you see, the app says found fingerprint sensor. It's ready for the scan. Found ID 1. Let's try a different finger. We have an error. Also, the app says didn't find a match. We have successfully created a smart fingerprint sensor using Blink ESP32 and R308 fingerprint sensor. It's a fantastic project that combines simplicity, convenience, and security. I hope you enjoyed following along with this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more exciting projects like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.